Now, another big story we're following tonight. A disgraced former Tonawanda police captain won't learn what life is like behind bars. News 4 senior correspondent Rich Newberg has more on today's sentencing. Retired city of Tonawanda police captain James Litz had disgraced himself and the badge, his own attorney told the judge, but Litz will not go to prison for choking a suspect in handcuffs who had been sitting in the back of a police car. The judge believed it was an isolated incident. But the bottom line is, is that he's contrite and, and he's sorry for what he did. He really is. Litz's daughter had been receiving anonymous threats around the time two men were arrested after trespassing in Litz's backyard. They actually had been attending a nearby party, but Litz went after one of the suspects. Judge Richard Arcara, in sentencing Litz to two years probation, believed Litz was acting emotionally as a father and was not proven to be a rogue cop. He had access to 32 years of accommodations and uh, almost 100 letters from the public on what Jim's service was. And that's why the judge is there, to take that into account. The government had made the judge aware of other alleged incidents where Litz was said to have abused citizens, but charges were never brought in those incidents. And in his plea deal, Captain Litz denied any wrongdoing in those cases. One involved Alan Miller. I called the police on my neighbors not five years ago and Litz showed up and immediately singled out me and pulled me to the ground and beat me. Miller said he regrets not filing charges against Litz and believes the sentence sends out the wrong message. I'm shocked that Judge Arcara allowed uh, a cop that uh, denies civil rights to basically go walk free. And we've been around too many good police officers to know that that's, uh, whatever happens here is not going to have an effect. What the judge did today is not going to say to some police officer, go out and do something wrong. That's absolutely not what's going to happen. And U.S. Attorney Bill Hochul told me the conviction of Captain Litz sends the right message to the community that the U.S. Justice Department will enforce the civil rights laws. Reporting live, Rich Newberg, News 4 at 5.